I am sorry. Every time I try to record this video, it's, um, my computer disconnects me for some odd reason. Um, okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is, I, I found this video called Satan is Real, the proof is here. Um, I found this while going through some, uh, ghost box, uh, sessions, videos on YouTube here. And I came across this thing, okay, well, you know, I'd, I'd like to see the, the the stuff they have on here. Um, basically, um, I have, well, you know, I, I was watching, I was like, okay, you know, whatever. And then all of a sudden, about uh, 3 minutes, 23 seconds in, they, uh, they show this little section of this little split second thing so you basically have to pause for it to actually read or you you know you, you're kind of you kind of you'd really have to pause it because you know it's just like you know right there and then it's gone you know um basically uh some nonsense at the very end it says set the god of the Egyptian god of evil and satan or something and uh set isn't he's he's not He's, um, the website that I found said he's the god of, uh, like, storms, um, the, uh, desert section of Egypt and, you know, other parts. Um, I'll link the, uh, two different, uh, web, web pages I have of this. So, that, that little section is just completely, uh, bullshit. And, well, not... 10 seconds in, 10 seconds, 10 seconds does not go by before another bullshit thing comes up again and says, uh, basically, uh, they, they mention the River Styx, um, with, they just say, you know, it's the River Styx, that's it, and then, uh, Janus, J-A-N-U-S, and, oh, excuse me. And then it says, uh, two-headed god or something like that. And then it goes into the Inferno, which is this book here. Uh, I had to read, it, read this from my, uh, one of my World Lit classes that I, that I took. Well, the only one I took so far. Um, it's basically the, the first part of the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. I think I pronounced that right. Sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> um, it's it's basically um, about this guy that I. It, it basically given a, a, they travel through uh, hell, the uh, the layers of hell, and that's that's really what the book is about. Um, it's a. Uh, it's it's one of those kind of like um, Shakespeare's. How Shakespeare usually writes in, um, like that. I, I read, wrote in it um, for you know my class and everything. But it, it's basically in that style of uh, writing. And then very back it has notes and stuff. Yeah, notes. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's not it's not about Lucifer or Satan. It's about Dante going through. It mentions Satan because, like I said, it's in hell. But it's not about Satan. It's about Dante going through this particular section of the afterlife. He goes through all three different sections. He goes through hell, you know, the inferno. He goes through purgatory, and he goes through paradise. And uh, his companion is named Virgil. He guides them through each section. And it's described in great detail. So, I'll like go away. That's my mom. Um, I'll link to that in the, in the crotch bar. Um, the next thing that they go on to mention at about 6 minutes and 40 seconds is the eagle, and they seem to, um, well, let me find it and play it for you. No, you can't. Shut up! But, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
way. I'm not recording this again. Sorry. That's my mom. Okay, I'll play this again for you. There's 33 feathers on the left wing, representing the 33rd degree. The tail has 9 feathers, which represents the 9th degree of the York right. The eagle itself is a prominent icon in masonry, extensively used in the Scottish Rite. Now, that was from about 6 minutes, th uh, 14 seconds to about 8 minutes, uh, 31 seconds in. Oh, excuse me. Um, they make it sound like the eagle is, you know, this Masonic, uh, symbol only, and anybody else that uses it is, um, you know, has Masonic founding, um, which I don't think is because the article I found, um, sorry, close up on my face, <laughs> um, the article I found doesn't say anything about that, um, um, it talks about how it was used in, um, Let's see, used by ancient kings of Persia, Babylon, and the Roman legions. Um, it was also used by the German Third Reich and the empire conquered by Napoleon. Uh, see, it's also used as, it's also a Christian symbol. I like to mention that now. it's a Christian symbol, which represents salvation, redemption, and resurrection. Um, I'll link to that one as well. Uh, let's see, and then it also goes into uh, Minerva uh, in about 8 minutes, 14 seconds in. There we go. I'll play this little section for you, too. Minerva worship is satanic. They both have child sacrifice. They're wearing Hold black, on. red, and white cloaks and practicing idol worship. Here. Yes. Now. Either way, Moloch or Minerva worship is satanic. They both have child sacrifice. Yeah, the, this guy's basically, um, uh, this, uh, Moloch I looked up, and he really was, you know, this, uh, bloody, um, child sacrificing deity. At least I think it's a deity. Uh, cow looking kind of, uh, thing. But the guy, uh, links in Minerva in this as well. And I looked up her as well, because I knew that was bullshit, because uh, I'm a bit of a, uh, I like um, learning about the, all the different gods and stuff like that. I find that rather fascinating. And well, I looked her up, and the site that uh, I found, uh, I didn't see anything about that. Um, let's see, she is the Roman goddess of wisdom. And is depicted in a full battle dress with a coat of mail, a helmet, and a spear. Let's see, her sacred animal is the owl, and the sacred insect is a spider. Let's see, her Greek equivalent is Athena. Let's see, her areas of influence is uh, wisdom and crafts. And, is all, all, and only in Rome is she worshipped as the goddess of war. Um, she's also the patron goddess of medicine. Um, I'll link to this uh, website that I found in the uh, crotch bar. It doesn't say anything about her being uh, have anything to, being involved in anything to do with uh, any sort of human sacrifice um, of any sort. Um, so I don't know where they're pulling that out of. Probably their ass, but. Um, I have no idea. Um, I'll link everything that I found in the uh, in the in the low bar, including the uh, link to the video. Um, I hope this one will allow me to bring this up. So, bye bye. And sorry about my mom interrupting. Sorry.